hello everybody welcome to my channel if you're new welcome back if you're not my name is G and today I'm sure you've seen the title I'm going to be showing you five designer bags that you can start your luxury designer collection with so these are bags that were priced under a thousand dollars but they have since seen a price increase so these bags are shy of a thousand dollars i'll say so they're not like your top tier like chanel they're not in that five thousand and up or three thousand and up range they're kind of like that in between like they're those type of bags that if you have like a mark jacobs or like a tory birch like and you just want to kind of step up these are the bags that you should purchase in my opinion i mean i'm not going to tell you what to do with your money and this is in no way a video of me bragging or like i don't know i just feel like some people get a little weird when it comes to like designer things and i've seen this quote on twitter it was like black women in luxury is a vibe like that is an aesthetic to me to obviously a lot of people because it was a lot of retweets on that tweet i'm going to post it if i can find it it was saying that like luxury is not just designer like yes it is designer it's the clothes you wear it's the bags you carry the shoes on your feet but it's also the house you live in or the apartment you live in or that condo that you live in the car that you drive the places you can travel the hotels you stay in like it's luxury is not just designer like luxury is a mind state like luxury is i mean it can mean different things to different people but that i love that quote like black women in luxury is a vibe like i'm tired of people trying to humble us like we get our money just like these other women too when they get nice things and show off their bags or shoes we always say oh yes 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 but then when another one of us has it then it's like oh, oh she should save her money or she should be spending it's on like, something else no, why can't black women have luxury too so i'm showing you these bags for you to start your luxury collection and without further ado, if you want to see the bags that I'm talking about, keep on watching. The first bag I'm going to show is this Speedy bag. This is Louis Vuitton and this is a Speedy in Damier Azor. That's the name of the print. So it is a, it's showing up gray, but it's actually tan and like a kind of dark blue checker print. This was my first designer bag about seven years ago. And when I bought this bag, it was around $890. Now, I think I want to say it's like $1,100 or something like that. So, the Louis Vuitton has had a price increase since I bought this bag a couple years ago. But this bag, this is in the size 30. As you can see, it's, it's kind of big. It's not tiny, but it's not huge either. Like, this is a bag that... I would say it's very practical it's not small like the nano but it's not like a keep all so this is definitely an in-between and i would say if you want to start a luxury collection this is your bag because this is a classic this bag is not going anywhere this bag has been out since 1965 and it's still out like that should say a lot this is definitely a starter luxury bag if i could name one like this is why it's number one this is why it was my first my first bag so this has a small pocket on the inside and that is it. It's just like a never ending hole. And it's, the quality is there. Like I've had this, like I said, for seven years. Nothing is ripped, nothing is cracked, nothing is torn. I'm not gonna say it's in excellent condition cause it is love. Like I use this bag a lot. I haven't used it recently because i have other bags that i can rotate but when i first got this baby this was this was the bag this was that girl i carried it everywhere every day well actually not every day because i only wore this in spring and summer because of the print so it did get some rest in the fall and winter so i think that's why it kind of has held up this long but i love this bag this was my first baby i even had my initials heat stamped g-a-w well it is now g-a-p because i've gotten married but this is this is my love like i love this bag i love it in all the prints so i would definitely recommend this if you're starting your designer bag collection staying on louis vuitton the next bag i have is the louis vuitton favorite bag and that is the name of it and it is one of my favorite bags like i'm sure they knew what they were doing when they named this bag so this bag is so hard to get like i don't know what well, i do know because it is such a practical bag it's such a cute like option if you don't want to get something big or you don't want to get something too small like it's definitely the perfect size and it fits everything again it's just like 
it's just like the speedy it has one little pocket and then it's just a hole so you can just throw every single thing in there it fits so so much this is actually the is this is the gm size so they had a pm and a gm and so it comes with this cute chain that is not removable but you can move it over to the other side so if you just want to kind of like carry like a clutch you can you can tuck it inside of the bag and carry it on your arm like this it's so 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 cute love this bag and then you can carry it like this and also it comes with a strap so the original strap is just a vaquetta like this color the vaquetta leather the vaquetta leather and it just is kind of like a crossbody strap just a single leather strap but I got some water stains on mine and I already knew from the beginning that I didn't want to keep that strap so I actually went and purchased this strap from one of my sales associates at the Louis Vuitton store so you have to go in and kind of build a report with someone to get these types of items because they don't just sell them like readily available you have to actually have a bag that goes with this strap and for this strap I want to say it is the Pochette Matisse I don't have that bag so since I have a relationship with my SA he got me this even though I don't have that bag I had to pay for it, it wasn't free but I had access to get it so I definitely would say if you want to get a bag go to the store kind of chit chat with somebody make a report get to know them and then you would be surprised of the things that you get offered and the treatment that you get and so this is the strap I love this strap it's no worries no fuss I will stand up it definitely makes a statement with this favorite because I'll put up a picture of the original strap but it just takes this bag to a new level and it's adjustable as well so this is the Louis Vuitton favorite this purse was maybe 900 but I know right now and I don't even know if they still sell it to be honest I think there was talks of discontinuing this bag so I think that's why everybody went crazy trying to get one because they knew that it might not be around long and Louis Vuitton is doing something with their canvas bag so it's like they might be discontinuing some items because they want to focus on leather so these bags are like get them now while you can because they're definitely going to be collectors they definitely can go up in value after a while especially if they're discontinued so i don't know if they they still have this bag available if you go on the site it might say call for availability and it's been like that for years because i really originally wanted this bag maybe three four years ago like when i first seen it i could not find it anywhere so i actually went in the store one day and got lucky and i just asked i was like do you have the favorite and he was like oh we just got one in and it was one left and i was like okay i'm gonna get it <laughs> i tried it on i was like yep mm -hmm, i'm gonna get it i knew that i wanted this bag because it was so hard to get so if you can get your hand on this bag maybe pre-loved or if you know someone that has it maybe they can sell it to you but this the louis vuitton favorite is definitely a starter bag to have. next bag that i would say that you need to have to start your luxury bag collection is this gucci bag this is the gucci soho chain crossbody bag and this one is maybe a thousand I want to say it's a thousand it could be maybe 11 i know it's in that range but the this bag has since gone up because i know when i first got it it was around 900 something so i know it's gone up but this is definitely something to get if you can get it i know that gucci does not make this bag anymore but they definitely sell a similar style like the gucci soho disco bag and that's went up a lot too i think that might be like 1500 and it used to be under a thousand so these bags do hold their value don't get me wrong as long as you keep them up and you don't um like be too rough with them and kind of mess them up but if you keep it in good condition you definitely can resell these bags so this bag is i would say more of like if you're going out like a night out kind of bag because you can still fold the chain in and it can become a clutch so this is like this is kind of a grown bag like, like 
this is like not a canvas bag like the Louis Vuitton that I showed you. This is actual real leather. So this can transition into so many different things for so many different occasions. So I mean, it can still be casual if you run into the mall. But this is definitely cute in the evenings too. So this is kind of like a little step up. So I would definitely suggest this bag as one of your starter bags to your designer collection. Next bag I have is this cutie. Oh, this is my favorite purse out of all of, and you don't might even want to call this purse. It's so tiny. If you, this is like smaller than my head. Like definitely it's the size of my hand. This bag though, this is the super mini, the Gucci Dionysus super mini bag. And it is so stinking cute. I love, love, love this purse. I've had this bag for maybe three years. But this is so cute. It's super popular now. I've seen a lot, a lot of girls with this bag, but it is, it's just really cute. Like I, I get why people want it. It's so cute. You can wear it so many different ways and you actually can fit things in it. You can fit your phone if you have an iPhone 10 or X or 11 or whatever, not the Max, not the Pros, like that doesn't fit, but definitely my iPhone fits in there easily. Have my key clay, my Louis Vuitton key clay, and if I take it off of my keys, that can fit in there as well. And then if I take my car key off, I know it's like you have to do so much, so much to get it in. But if I take my car key off, I can fit my key. My key is in there. And if you could try to get cute, you could kind of squeeze. This is a Bite Beauty lip mask. If you have a little small lip gloss, you can fit that in. So I put that in there and it's closed. So, and that is like maximum capacity. But like on a night out, like that's all you need is you just need your wallet, a small card holder, or maybe, and if you take the card holder out and just put your actual cards, definitely more room. So this is like, all you need this bag is so 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 cute and it is actually under a thousand dollars it is 790 this bag is 790 definitely recommend this and then another cute thing about this bag you get your money's worth i'm telling you and it goes with everything i've worn this to a wedding i wear this to the mall i wear this if i'm going to my son's soccer practice like because you can do this with it so it comes with this cute key ring. Now I know if you a thick girl, you're not gonna be able to do this. I'm sorry, but it actually can double as a fanny pack. So it can go around your waist and it hangs like a fanny pack. So you can get hands free with this bag. And I just think that that is like so cute. like. Oh, I love this bag. And then I'm going to show you something else. If you double the chain, kind of fold it, you can also shorten the strap. So I shortened the strap. You can double the strap. So you can double the strap like this. And I love wearing it like this. Just like on a crook of my shoulder. Like I love wearing it like that. So, 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 so cute. So it's like four different bags in one. Like this is definitely something to get to start your collection. It's under a thousand. You could wear it in multiple ways. No, it does not fit the whole kitchen sink. But this definitely is something to grab. I really, really think that this bag is like a classic. I think it's definitely a classic because this... Gucci interlocking G's like that is a classic print. It has like this suede, this tan suede, and then this oh my god, the Dionysus right here. This little like snake head that is just to die for. Like this bag to be this small is just so so cute. So definitely, if you want to start a collection, I would suggest this super mini Gucci Dionysus bag. And last but not least, this is an honorable mention because this is definitely not a thousand dollars. It's definitely not under a thousand dollars, but I did get it for a good deal. And this was like one of my 
not dream bags because dream bags to me is like Birkin. Like that's a dream bag. Like that is kind of like in the clouds, semi unobtainable. I'm not going to say unattainable because anything can happen, but that bag is like, oh, like the goat of bags. Like, but this was one of those bags and I was like, oh, if I could just get this bag, like this bag is just everything to me. And it may not be for everybody, but this is my favorite bag at the moment, honorable mention. This is the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour in the size baby in the color fog with gold hardware. Oh my God. And I think the thing with this bag is that I wanted it in that exact combo. Like I wanted that fog color with the gold hardware in the baby size like that it was like those three things if i couldn't find it, i don't want this bag like they had this bag in every color every size every print crocodile python everything but i wanted this one and when i found this one baby i snatched her up so this is definitely a bag i would suggest to get maybe not starting off because this bag is if you buy it brand new and i didn't get it brand new but this bag brand new is like two thousand six hundred and ninety dollars so close to three three racks i don't know if it's worth three racks that's why i kind of was shying away from getting it but when i found this on fashion file i got this pre-loved yes this is used but it's a like new like the feet on the bottom even have the sticker on it so this bag was definitely like new and i got it for maybe 40 percent off so i definitely did not pay 2000 anything for this so that is why i snatched this up it's like i said in excellent condition and this also comes with a strap so you can wear it crossbody but you can take the strap off and wear it top handle but this is just oh this is my baby i love 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 this purse like this is just everything to me so if you want to kind of splurge and like uh, maybe you have two of these bags already and it's like okay i want to like a, a higher big girl bigger girl bag i would definitely suggest this sac du jour love 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 this bag i just oh i adore this bag and it actually has like a pocket in the middle so it's not just like a big hole like the speedy but this is just oh this is my love at the moment love this bag so that concludes my top five designer starter bags. So like I said, if you're looking to kind of get into the designer bags or if you have like um, a lower end type of bag, like a Marc Jacobs or Tory Burch, and there's nothing wrong with those bags either because I have a Kurt Geiger. I don't know if you guys have heard that, but it's a London based brand and it's similar to like a Marc Jacobs type of bag. I have one of those in my closet as well and I love that bag. The leather is phenomenal. I would never knock a bag just because it's not in the higher ends of the hundreds or thousand. Like I would never knock that. So if you do have one of those bags, kudos to you. But I would just say if you want to step up because these are better quality. They just are. I mean when you pay more, not always, but most of the time for designer bags, when you pay more, you are getting what you pay for. So the quality of these bags that I just showed is top notch i had no issues nothing breaks nothing snags nothing's torn nothing's ripped nothing's cracked like everything is good 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 and i've had these bags except for this bag i just got this one but i had the rest of those bags for at least two years and i have no complaints whatsoever so if you want to be a black girl in luxury definitely check out any of those bags that i've mentioned and if you want to see like a review or in depth of any of the bags i mentioned just let me know don't forget to subscribe i'm on a 1000 subscriber journey help me get there please and comment as well if you like any bags or if you have any of these bags let me know what you think and like this video give it a thumbs up and i appreciate you watching thank you